A report has just emerged out of Germany, guys. This is pretty serious here. It says that China is funneling billions of dollars into BYD to crush Tesla and other car manufacturers worldwide. It says it has direct evidence that BYD received $2.3 billion in 2022 alone. And it believes the figure could be much, much higher than that in 2023. I mean, if this is true, then those are some pretty substantial subsidies. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Here's an, a, what is a, a, a really kind of uh, possibly damning report. I mean, Chinese automakers are claiming that they don't get any assistance from the government to um, obviously enter Europe and sell vehicles over there. But the European Union says they have direct evidence that they get paid for every single vehicle they sell in Europe, every single vehicle they sell in Australia, every single vehicle that they sell outside of China, they are getting direct subsidies from the Chinese government. But in addition to that, they're also receiving billions of dollars in order to prop up their business, in order to give them what some might say is an unfair advantage. Now, this is coming at a time when the Chinese government are directly targeting America, saying that the EV incentives in America are unfair, they are unethical, they are illegal. They've actually targeted the US government in the International Court of Arbitration, um, basically saying that they will um, attempt to prosecute them for the, US, the US's illegal subsidies. Kind of crazy that China has done that. And well, this is what they've been doing all along. A new study by one of Germany's oldest and most influential think tanks says that China outspends other OECD countries like the United States and Germany by three to nine times, between three to nine times on subsidies. According to the study, the primary recipient of the government's largesse is BYD. They're getting the most funds. And it would kind of make sense. Like I've been a bit baffled, how on earth are BYD expanding so quickly? They don't really, they didn't really have all that much cash. They hadn't been making much money for many years, but all of a sudden they just spiraled. They started building factories, battery factories, car factories all over the all over the planet within a very, very short space of time. And we're talking about ramping production in literally record speed. No one else has been able to do this and somehow BYD were doing it. Now, is it just BYD's clear competitive advantage? They're vertically integrated or was there something else behind it? I don't know. BYD has risen to become one of the world's largest manufacturers of electrified vehicles, surpassing Tesla for the first time in the last quarter of 2023. But this report says BYD has received massive assistance along the way. In 2020, BYD received approximately $236 million in direct subsidies. By 2022, that number had increased to $2.3 billion US dollars. It's believed it could have increased again in 2023. Now that has amounted to around 1.1% of BYD's revenues in 2020, 3.5% of their revenues in 2022, says the Kiel Institute study. Even among Chinese companies, that is a very large number. And the automaker has overtaken its competition like GAC as a major recipient of direct subsidies from the government. Now, I don't know if these include the European Union's, what they have exposed in terms of subsidies going to MG, which is obviously state owned anyway, subsidies going to NEO and XPUNG and BYD, direct subsidies into their bank account for every vehicle they sell in Europe. I don't know if that's related to this issue. It may be, it may not. Even these figures fail to show the full picture though. In addition to subsidies, it receives directly from the government. BYD also benefits from customers receiving government incentives to purchase its batteries for their electric vehicles as well. Although that's not cash directly in the company's pocket, it does help stimulate demand for its products and it effectively lowers their price. BYD receives a significant amount of the government's funds, but China offers subsidies to a wide variety of companies. So this is not really unusual. The Kiel Institute found that 99% of listed companies in the country, so listed on the stock exchange, companies in China received incentives in 2022. So if 99% received them, then it appears that um, this is just the normal way of the Chinese government doing business. I, I, don't, I don't see this as any big deal, to be honest. It's more that it's um, a big deal that China is trying to uh, prosecute America for uh, claiming America is doing this, but then they're doing it 
to a much greater degree themselves. That's the real hypocrisy here. The findings come as Chinese automakers are seeking to expand as fast as they can into foreign markets like Europe. On the continent, automakers have complained the huge subsidies afforded to Chinese automakers make it hard for them to compete with incoming EVs from companies like BYD. Now that said, BYD's electric cars have not thus far been successful when it comes to sales in Europe. They've been successful though in places like Australia, Thailand, Israel, uh, Malaysia even, but not yet on the continent, on the old world. The European Union has launched an investigation into these Chinese incentives to see if they provide the nation's automakers with what they believe is an unfair advantage. The Kiel's Institute findings seem to support that allegation, and it believes that the nation's current economic downturn provides the EU with a strong negotiating position. Amidst the recently initiated anti-subsidy proceedings against imports of electric vehicles from China, aiming to persuade China to withdraw subsidies particularly harmful to the EU, the study's author recommends initiating negotiations with Beijing. Given China's current macroeconomic weakness, its relative strength in green technology sectors and its tensions with the US, the authors see a realistic chance of successful negotiations. But this is going to look pretty bad. I mean, if this is true, and to be honest, if they're saying 99% of Chinese listed companies are getting some sort of incentives, BYD has not denied. After these reports came out, BYD has not denied that this is happening. I don't think they should either. I mean, I don't really have any problems with this. We know that we know that governments always subsidize their automotive industries. And I've, I've said this many times. I've said this on the channel. The government is subsidizing EV subsidies in America. That's normal. It's normal practice. France does this for their automotive industry. Germany does this for their automotive industry. Italy does this for their automotive industry. But China is doing this to a much, much greater degree. They're funneling much more money. We're talking billions and billions of dollars every single year. This is kind of keeping some of these zombie companies in China alive. I've reported on that as well. That may not necessarily be a good thing. But either way, guys, really, really interesting report. How, how, how should we react to this? I mean, what would be the fair thing for Europe and America to do? Should they ban Chinese EVs or should they let them come in? Should they have some sort of taxes on them? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.